Welcome to Volume 7, Totally Blew It. After the great response I had from Volume 2, You Blew It, which was basically a color-changing card in a deck routine, I decided to flip-flop it and do a color-changing deck routine. Hope you like my take on that. During the performance, uh, I'm just showing you one way to approach it, but in the explanation, I'll give you a couple approaches which will have a varying degree of skill level to them and just choose whichever one you like. So let's get to it. Totally blew it. I'm going to have you memorize a card. Uh, whichever one it is, really doesn't matter too much. Just something kind of gives me a feeling here. There we go. Would you memorize that, please? Okay? Great. Sometimes the top card of the deck can lead me to your card, even when it's placed in the middle of the pack. Let's have a look at the top card. It is the Ten of Diamonds. Doesn't seem to uh, lead me to your card, huh? Maybe more like a detour? <laughs> um, name your card out loud. Watch the Ten close. Bam. Fantastic. Three spades. Now you know when uh, I kind of went on that little detour, you might have thought for a moment that I blew it. Actually, watch close. I not only blew it, I totally blew it. And I hope you enjoy it. If you're done using a marker and you want to get rid of it, you could do this, but it may appear in a different location. If you want to get rid of it for good, do this. And believe me, you'll never see it again. I'd like to reflect back a minute to volume two, You Blew It. I'd like to give you an option to do it as a finale where you've been performing along with a red deck of cards the entire time. Then at the end, when the card turns blue in the You Blew It routine, it's even stronger. I'm going to feature a card about the center of the pack, a good prominent card, uh, King of Hearts. Fantastic. Now, to make the king visible on our working surface takes about, yeah, about that long. We're going to feature your card, the King of Hearts. First, we'll place it about the center of the pack. That King of Hearts is definitely in there. What's amazing is if you just brush the deck, your card will appear out of the center. It's about entertainment. Look at the big acts who are very successful to the general public. David Copperfield, Lance Burton, their shows are well-rounded with good magic and good entertainment. So just keep in mind, to be a complete performer, try to present magic as an entertaining art form with a balance of comedy, acting, drama, 